Do you remember Captain Crunch Crunchling Adventure? I always thought this game was some sort of fever dream, but I have finally found it. For this game to have been released in 1999 in a cereal box at that, I sure did play hundreds of hours of this game as a child. The game takes place in Volcania, a place populated by Crunchlings at the center of the earth. The city's mines have been infiltrated by thieves looking to steal all the Crunchium, which is needed to produce Captain Crunch cereals. Captain Crunch attempts to remedy the situation by having Crunchling challenge the thieves to an athletic competition. The Crunchling trains for the challenge by practicing for three games, each teaching a different skill. The first skill would be the speed practice, which takes place in Backwardia, where everything is backwards except for the Gatorade ad placement. The Crunchling races on a skateboard against a turtle to the finish line while collecting pieces of cereal and jumping over obstacles along the way for extra skill points. The second one would be jumping practice. This takes place in Computica, a place completely made from computer parts. The Crunchling jumps up a tall shaft on the top of floating memory chips, collecting pieces of Captain Crunch and Crunch Berries throughout the level for extra skill points. The third and final skill would be the strength slash throwing practice. This takes place in Jurassica, a dinosaur-filled place in a time where Crunchosaurus ruled the earth. The Crunchling has one minute to move back and forth throwing rocks in the air to hit volcanic rocks and pterodactyls flying overhead. Rocks are worth one point and pterosaurs are worth three. As you level up in each game, your Crunchling will grow making them faster and stronger. Oh, and how could I forget? You can feed your Crunchling three different flavors of Captain Crunch and you can play with it. To me, the worst of the three games is the strength practice. It was just boring to me, and you were locked in the game for one minute every single time. With the others, you could go at your own pace, like the jump game, or every time you did it, it was faster, like the speed game. To beat the game, you must challenge the head thief in an athletic competition once you grow for the second time. But it is only one of the three games, so after practicing all three skills you basically wasted your time improving on, it all comes down to one game. However, you can still challenge the thief after your first attempt and you can eventually play all three games. Honestly, the graphics still hold up almost 24 years later. So even for this to be a free game you get in a box of cereal, the graphics are still pretty good. Now, while I was doing research for this game, I found out that the CD-ROM could also be played in an audio CD player, where Captain Crunch gives you a 20 minute narration of the story in the game. Who knew? Now, do I regret spending an hour and a half playing this game again? No. Would I do it again? Maybe in 20 more years. The game does get super repetitive, and as a child, I could just grind this game over and over. But as an adult, I wouldn't think I would waste my time playing this game over and over like I did as a child. So to sum it up, Captain Crunch Crunching Adventure may not be the most groundbreaking game of its time, but it is delightful and whimsical experience that will warm your heart and bring a smile to your face. If you're a fan of classic games or simply want to relive some childhood memories, I highly recommend giving it a try. If you'd like to see the whole game with no commentary, check out the description where I will have a link to my whole walkthrough of the game. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all my gaming reviews. Until next time, happy gaming.